the Iranian president, if you believe the official report, oh, it got into a little old plane, a little old helicopter and flew in the mountains in foggy weather, and boop, they went down, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, if you've ever been on helicopters, I have, right? I did geophysics, and I've been on little planes, like little propeller planes and the seaplanes and stuff like this. They're, they can be very safe or they're devastating, right? Helicopters as well. Helicopters in mountainous terrain where whew, you get wind tunnels and stuff like this and uh, the weather can change like within five minutes, right? If you believe the official report, they put the president and the foreign minister, whatever it was, on this little helicopter and it, an American-made helicopter crashed here near Azerbaijan, right? They were coming from a celebration and stuff like this. Uh, considering that Israel's active in Azerbaijan helped with Turkey commit genocide in the Armenians' war, they were about to take a certain part of Armenian territory, right? There's a sort of a pathway there, not a pathway, but a chunk of land, like a tunnel system. I forget how big it is, wide it is, but it basically connects up. It's uh, Nakhchavan, right? It's the Nakhchavan area in Azerbaijan connecting Armenia, stuff like this. They want to take that territory. They were about to take that territory, Israel, Azerbaijan, and Turkey. And Iran stepped in and said, you guys take that territory. You're at war with Iran. We're going to go ape shit on your ass, right? And they didn't, right? This area is not done yet, right? And all of a sudden, within months, we see the president of Iran going down in a helicopter, right? After attack on Israel, right? There was an assassination attempt on um, uh, Mohammed bin Salman in Saudi Arabia and nothing happened. The king has been taken to the hospital a second time, right? There was a couple of car crashes in Israel of politicians, right, MPs, right? interesting interesting um uh, there's been a few other things going on but there's a lot going on personally i don't think i don't think that was an accident it's a signature mossad cia uh move to assassinate uh, people that's been going on for decades uh sabotage assassination attack we don't know maybe he would you know he was dead previously they were already assassinated and this was a way that they could, uh, Iran could calm things down and say, oh, it was just a helicopter accident. We don't know. All we know is that during, within weeks of Israel and Iran exchanging fires, the president of Iran is dead with the foreign minister, right? Uh, I don't believe the official report that it was an accident, right? A lot of, I've seen a lot of analysts talking about this and they were like, like, it stinks of high heaven, right? It stinks of high heaven. Um, but real analysts, like people who can't speak out of turn, right? Before there's some kind of evidence, they know, you know, there's smoke, right? But is there a fire? I'm assuming the smoke is from the fire. They can't say it, there's fire yet because they haven't seen the fire. No one's reporting that there's a fire, right? Um, we're in the business of more predicting, right? Of what might be happening because we're linking everything up, politics and geopolitics up with economics and investing. So for us, we have to be proactive. We're not acting as journalists reporting what's happening. We're taking a look at what's being reported and trying to make predictions as to where we're going and trying to read between the lines to see maybe it fits into the picture that we've been talking about. And if it doesn't, then what's really going on, right? So far, the picture that we've painted has been pretty damn accurate, pretty damn accurate. And we're going to continue on that path, right? Marco P, do you think Iran will hit back at Israel? Yes, I think 
this was uh, escalation. People were expecting wars to be, oh, we declare war, boom, boom. No, right? Right now, we're in a different time, different period. Okay. Uh, in my humble opinion, this is the calm before the storm, right? I think there's going to be more flare-ups happening until we go boom, right?